Hi, Dick Rochford here. I'm sitting in a hotel room in Seattle, Washington, waiting on weather. And as you can see, we have some ice in the clouds in this area. The plan today was to go uh, from Boeing Field, Bravo, Foxtrot, India, to Scottsdale, Arizona, Sierra, Delta, Lima. And you might expect we're eager to go because it's raining and there's icing at a variety of levels. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how to adjudicate this and how to have some rules about airframe ice. And this video is specific to the PA-46 line of aircraft with FIKI certification, flight into known icing. Uh, Aircraft that are FIKI equipped vary in their capabilities, and I would argue that the FIKI certification associated with single engine uh, light aircraft uh, equipped with boots, etc., hot prop, uh, windshield, is woefully inadequate for some levels of ice. So, this video addresses that and gives the owner pilot. Uh, a way to adjudicate that confidently without uh, any risk or with minimizing risk for um, having to divert or uh, getting into weather that the airplane can't handle. So let's start with a basic de definition of airframe ice. In the aim, it describes airframe ice in terms of light, moderate, or severe. Having said that, light is defined as ice that forms but uh, goes away and doesn't really come back when you operate the equipment. Moderate is ice which goes away but it comes back frequently enough that you have to constantly use the equipment. Severe means that the ice exceeds the airplane's ability to shed the ice. And the first indication of that in the PA-46 will be a loss of airspeed. This is very, very bad. So the rule in my world is that PA-46 operators should never encounter more than light ice. Historically, this is hard to do because we had no information other than the current icing potential forecast icing potential, affectionately known as the SIP-FIP. Let's look at the SIP-FIP, and if we go to the four-flight program and look in icing, under imagery, go to the third product down, icing severity analysis. Please note with interest that the probability of severe ice is not of interest to us. And the reason is, is it's like the probability of uh, jumping off a cliff and surviving. It's, we don't really need, care to address that. What we wanna know is the severity analysis. And if we look at the severity al analysis, valid at 20Z today, uh, and so the reason I'm sitting in a hotel today is because uh, we adjudicated the icing and decided we weren't gonna fly. So we're up in this northwest region around Seattle, and you can see there's, uh, this by the way is maximum icing, so it, it's all layers. More about that in a minute, but we have red hatch marks, SLDs, supercooled liquid droplets. We have light, moderate, and severe in the varying forms. But now the question is, and, and the problem has always been, how do we slice that? So here we go, We uh, here it is. Uh, now we're uh, at 5,000 feet, we already have ice in this area beyond what uh, the aircraft is capable of dealing with. That ice goes up 
and starts to uh, uh, abate around 15. So if we chose 17 or higher, we'd have a good ride down to Scottsdale. The problem is, is that now we, we only have half the picture. Now we have to go and look at turbulence and pyreps and other things. And now there's a better way. I give you the vertical profile in foreflight. So we go to map and you can use any base map you want. Initially, I think <clears throat> the VFR map is better because you can see more of the other features that we need to understand. And then we turn on the vertical profile. So we go to flight plan, vertical profile. And here in this vertical profile, we see exactly what's going on. So the idea is to choose an altitude along our route that gives us never more than light ice or light turbulence. And you see today, that's a tough challenge. So let's dig into it and see how we're gonna do this. First, draw a straight line from your departure to your destination. Then, turn on the profile view and select two layers, icing US and turbulence. And by the way, you may want to invest in performance plus. Performance plus in four flight is the subscription with the most value. Hence, it's the most expensive. But if you're flying a PA-46, you need this information. So I don't recommend doing it any other way. Once you have that Performance Plus program, you'll get SIPFIP information in the vertical profile. And you'll also get, of course, the turbulence if you turn those two uh, features on. Remember that the vertical profile has a, sep a, a secondary uh, list of layers. And so remember to um, turn on those layers in the profile view. And you can see today that um, even if we could find a way, and I think there is a way to, to encounter light ice only, leaving the um, BFI area. But the problem is we have a passenger on board for the flight, and it's it's going to be rough. It's uh, moderate to severe turbulence. There's one little area severe there, but it's mostly moderate turbulence. Moderate turbulence means that stuff moves around in the airplane, uncommanded. iPads, extra headsets, propellers in the back seat. You name it, the stuff that's in the airplane is gonna move around and isn't tied down. So it's not a comfortable ride, and uh, I don't recommend it for uh, passengers who aren't pilots or aren't ex experienced with this kind of a ride. It's not comfortable for them. All right, so today's not a good day to accomplish this mission. And the reason is not so much ice, because we could plan around this little area uh, above BFI, and the way we would do that is we would go north for a bit. To that end, let's consider putting on the IFR low map, the SIPFIP in the plan view, and let's see if we can find a hole in that ice, and sure enough, there's one. So what we'll want to do is rubber band this route to the north and pick a spot where we can safely go, climb, then turn around and come back. Now if we go back to the vertical profile, uh, we can see that perhaps with a little bit of management we could eliminate all entries into moderate ice. So we have light, moderate, and in very small areas, we have severe in this, in this view. So 
from an icing standpoint, this is doable. It's not a slam dunk, but it's doable. Turbulence, however, is severe, and that, in some cases, and moderate. So light turbulence is the gray areas. The green is moderate, and the uh, orange is severe turbulence. The um, legend for ice is down here. We have light, moderate, and severe. We also have a timeline. So we can slide this. So tomorrow morning, for example, things are pretty much the same, but doable. So we'll see about that. But for day, today, we've decided not to go, not just the ice, but because of the turbulence. Understand this product, use it, have rules, and don't violate your rules. Let me know your questions. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train often.